talk. All right, so I'm excited to see Mariah and to see her little one. They're so cute, <laughs> so cute. All right, so Mariah, can you please share your story? I would love for the world to hear about you and yes. your story. Alrighty, so um, one of the biggest things for me, um, I just had really bad periods ever since I was able to have my first one. Um, and so just my whole life going through that, um, you know, I struggled. I didn't have periods for months. I would have it for months. I would have it back to back. Um, I just didn't have a life. I felt like the periods were controlling me. Um, you know, I would call off days of school, days of work just to get through my cycle. Um, and so when I found out about you and how you helped people, I was like at my wits end. Um, I had just went to a doctor's appointment and they confirmed that I had PCOS, um, which is something I never knew of. They just threw the words at me and told me, do you want to be pregnant or not? That was their solution to helping me. I was just freshly married. I didn't know if I wanted to be pregnant right away or what that looked like. Um, but Basically, when they confirmed that I had a PCOS, they said, um, which is, you know, ovarian cysts, um, they told me that I couldn't really have kids because of the amount that I had. Um, but if they wanted to, um, basically, they would just send me somewhere else to figure that out. But for right now, if I wanted to stop it or slowly stop the growth, um, birth control was the route to go. And then she just started pushing all these other pills. And I just didn't, I didn't want that for my life. I didn't want to be that I just met this person for the first time and they're telling me I need to be on all these pills. Um, my family has a history. The women in my life have history of cervical issues. So I just, I just didn't want to be in that route. Um, so then I heard about you and what you do. And, um, you know, at that point you told me, uh, that usually when it comes to you, um, or when people come to you, it's because it's, you know, they have so much going on and you assured me that I wasn't, I wasn't crazy. I wasn't <laughs> feeling crazy I, that it was, I was okay. You know, that, um, and I was like, I don't know, I feel it, but you, you just assured me, you know, that we'll just see how it goes. Um, and you told me that, uh, to be mindful <laughs> that with people who have PCOS and when you start this program that, um, it may, it could potentially reverse it. And at that time, I didn't, I didn't care about that. I heard it. It was like a slight echo, <laughs> but I didn't care about that part. I just wanted to stop the bleeding. I just wanted to have energy and I wanted to have control back in my life. And, um, sure enough, we started the program for me. There was, I, I felt for me, I'll be honest. It felt like it was, um, there were supplements that I had to take, but, <laughs> Um, I've just never been a pill person and I, I can never keep up with the routine, just taking a pill on anything. I'm just like, eh. um, so to me, it felt like a lot, but once I got into the routine and was taking it and drinking my water, I felt the best that I ever felt in my life and literally just cried one day because I, it, it was tears of joy. I just felt so happy and so energetic. And I felt like I had, ooh, I'm getting emotional. I know, I, felt like me I, too. I got chills. I'm going to get all teary eyed. Um, no, because it was just, it was just a, such a long time of just not feeling happy. Um, and then I started my second round, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was not feeling good. I could not take the pills. I'm like, Ooh, what's this? This is just weird. You know, um, COVID was just kind of started in the works. It wasn't really out there, but it was just, you know, the trickles of it. And, um, I finished my second round and I'm like getting ready to start the third. I'm like, Hmm, I can't even swallow these pills. Like what's going on? Like, and then the smells started. I started smelling things that were just like making me want to throw up. <laughs> but with having PCOS, you never know if you're having your period or not. Right. So I would get symptoms where I was cramping. I would get symptoms where I felt like nauseous, like because, and thought I didn't, ha I was gonna have my period or not have my period. I mean, I took so many tests, and it, it wasn't even for me that I wanted kids necessarily, but it just freaked me out, you know, not having my periods for so long. And I'm like, oh, something, you know, what's what's going on here? But one day, I was like, let me just let me just take a test because I will remember remember it so clearly. 
my mother-in-law's uh, mom was visiting and she's from Mexico. So she cooks all the, you know, the old school food and just the smell of a little bit of oil burning on a pan because she's getting ready to make homemade tortillas. <laughs> I was like, ooh, ooh, I can't, I can't stay. I couldn't even stay in the house. I had to leave, you know, but did not think anything through it because I've had these moments where, you know, it was what I thought pregnancy related symptoms, but I just blew it off because eh, my period's just going to come the next day. And sure enough, it did. Right. Um, but sure enough, I took the test at like 11 something at night and my mind was blown. And here we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, did not ever think I would be pregnant. Um, and obviously the moment I found out, you know, you go through those motions, but it was, I was so happy because mm -hmm. my body, you know, thanks to, you know, I, I being regular, being, um, yes. you know, getting the supplements I needed just to have my body run its natural course, Yeah, you know, you were right. And Tim, I, all I can remember was like, damn, and I'll say it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <it'll> just say <laughs> it might reverse <laughs> things. And, you know, I, I didn't take it seriously at the time because that's not what my intention was going through the program. My intention was just to feel happy and feel energetic and, you know, just hearing stories of other people who have went through. And obviously you, you're just like so amazing. You mm -hmm. um, just you take on people's emotions. You, you just are so, I guess it was an empathetic sympathy. I don't know. You yeah. just are just so amazing to be around and you encourage me to like, girl, it's okay. You know, we're going to get you right. It's, yeah. it's going to take some time. And you told me that it's going to take time, but it had to be on me in a sense too, but you didn't let me feel like I was alone where most people, when you go through these kind of programs, they're like, they sell you everything. And then they walk away. You're mm -hmm. like, what? I don't, when do I take it? Do I take it now? Do I can I mix it with food? Like, you know, that kind of thing. So you you kept up with me. You stayed with me every step of the way. And, you know, I can truthfully say that with going through you, this, despite the fact that that wasn't my true intention, but maybe it was, who knows? Jehovah knows. God knows. Really knows. Um, you know, I was able to produce, like, the best little thing of my life. He's... He, my mom would call me her miracle baby. I was premature, but no, this is my miracle baby because mm -hmm. I told people for years I couldn't have kids, you know. Mm -hmm. When me and, and Chris got married and we found out that that was the thing, it, it wasn't like the end of the world for us because we were like, oh, we can adopt later on in the future. Like, let's just do us. But to know that I was able to actually have him mm -hmm. and, you know, feel him and like, oh, and all, the, all this kicker, guys, I was already... <laughs> I was already a couple months pregnant and didn't even know, you know, <laughs> but this was starting that process with Temna. Um, that's just a funny part to it too. I was already like, you know, when I was starting the rounds of the, I guess it was the third round of um, the pills and everything. It was just like, Hmm, you know, so from the time from talking to you, um, going through the pills and sticking to them and just kind of just now having energy adapting to what I needed to keep that energy going. Mm -hmm. It was like that, you Mommy. know, the body. It, and there yeah. he is. Hi, Lenny. Can you say hi, Papa? <laughs> That's right now. He's a dinosaur. <laughs> he's, <a sister. laughs> he's two and a half. He'll be three in November, wow. uh, which is wild to me. And obviously so. a healthy child. Mm-hmm. He's over there. He found candy. He thinks I didn't realize he found the candy, but um <laughs> That's when they're quiet. Yeah, me, when they're quiet, yeah, you have to it. Oh no, wait. See, and he's talking back now. So I don't know. Like if you want kids. <laughs> great program. <laughs> you talk back. <laughs> There's a lot of diaper changing. <laughs> Seriously. Um but no, this it was just an amazing, um, unexpected but beautiful journey, you that. know. So what would you share with every other people as far as like, um, yeah, if you could t be on top of a mountain and share with the world your experience, what would be the key things that initially maybe you were um, skeptical, you were just not sure, um, like what would you what would you share with someone who was in your shoes? I mean, for people who need that, like, 
to be in exam room and, and be in a hospital medical setting, like, don't be discouraged because you're not, you're in your beautiful home. You, you feel like part of the family at the moment, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so it, it's to feel safe and to feel like somebody actually cares about you. Because for me, the, just the thought, yes, I was getting pills for this type of thing. There were supplemental pills, but it wasn't like, okay, take this drug and that drug and this drug, you know, counts as out that drug. And so you're going to feel loopy. It wasn't, it wasn't that feeling. Um, and for me, that's what I appreciated because I wasn't um, being sold on drugs that they needed to sell that morning because they just got a spiel on this pitch of drugs. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I would take from that that if you want something that's going to be more family oriented, oriented more for your well-being, more for somebody looking out for you, that this is the route to go. Um, also, uh, commitment. I guess commitment would be the biggest word because for me, right off the back, I told you I'm not one to take pills. I can't stick through it. Like <laughs> even when they told me to take the birth control pills, I'm like, I mean, for what? I can't have kids anyways. What's the point? Like, you know, like, that was like <laughs> yeah, we were throwing it down, but not really. It, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't. And then if I missed a day, you know, it just threw everything off. So it was just so bad. But, um, you know, commitment, like I was like really mentally in a space to be ready for this, like whatever came, I just wanted to feel whatever it was I knew I was missing because right. I don't know what that feeling was I never had that feeling right. so I was like I knew I know there's a feeling out there there's something out there but I just didn't know what that was until you know I started going through the program at that moment so mm-hmm. commitment because you do you know want to you do have to give it you know you're going you're you're basically detoxifying so yeah you're gonna feel you know the motions of that but then once you break through that and mm-hmm. you feel like Hey, I can actually, like, I don't need to take a nap today. <laughs> like, nice. I feel good. Because naps for me was more like coma. I mean, <laughs> it just didn't help. I thought it was helping, but it, it really wasn't. <laughs> um, you know, but when you actually sit back, just the drinking the water, you know, and get making sure you're filling yourself up with that. Like, I have to drink water for those pills because I don't like, again, I'm just not a pill person. It's not against the pills. I'm just not. But, like, just to drink the water to get through it and at first I was like oh this is just such a burden like I don't want to do this but then like when I'm like no I I started thinking I need this for me mentally like I need one I need to be able to say I did it but two like what else did I have to lose like I'm trying to get myself mentally physically better and so I can't do that without trying right yeah and so commitment and just you know just being patient with yourself Um, because that was a very life-learning lesson, like, because, you know, I wanted it to be immediate, (laughs) like, I wanted it to be, okay, I feel good after a week or two, but it it didn't take a week or two, it took me committing to it, and just mentally, like, accepting that I'm trying to do a change for myself, Mm -hmm. but ultimately for my family, I want to be around long enough, Mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to have these health issues, I shouldn't have these health issues, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm 32 now. So whatever, 32 minus a kid, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I shouldn't, I shouldn't have those, those issues. I'm happy. I love life. I love being around family and friends. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be taking days off physically. I don't want to be confined to a bed. I mean, my periods were so bad that I couldn't even get up. Like oh, I had to like period. roll over. <laughs> onto the floor lift my there was times where I was just crying Chris holding me because I I'm a grown person and here I am like still stating myself still like you know and it that's not a reflection on me and my body's just not where it needs to be you know um I think the last straw for me when I got to you was my job I I had my period it was so bad that day like I had a towel <laughs> I had a um, like a sweater wrapped around me and as soon as I got like stood up you know gravity I know this may be TMI for some people but like no it's reality as as yeah I, it, as soon as I grab you know how it is when you know you have a period and it's like that heavy flow it just went psh, it was like a water breaking but for a period like it went through my underwear went through the freaking huge pad and it went through my it came out onto the floor the cement ground wow. I was working at Lowe's that was so embarrassing 
thank God there was nobody around. Just one person who had, who was an employee and came around and saw and like, she, you know, helped me. I, that was just the most lowest that I've ever felt. And I was like, <laughs> I'm never going to feel that again. Like, I just can't. Yeah. Um, and that's debilitating, you know, mentally. Like, I just was so embarrassed. I didn't want to like, just do this anymore. Wow. Um, yeah. So I, I will never forget that. So again, enough was enough. I was tired of it. There had to be something more than just the doctors. Here you go. Here's this pill. You know, and that's what I felt like. I was just a guinea pig for doctors testing out whatever they wanted to test out. And not truly like it. It was just a next in line. Next. I don't know. I didn't feel that with you. It wasn't next. It was like, okay, what are we going to do? It's okay. You know, like we're going to get through this. Trust me. You know, you're, you're, you're not alone. Like you're, you as a mom and you acted like a mom to me, you know, you acted as my friend, my mom, whatever I needed in that moment. And you didn't make me feel like, you know, this is me as a friend coming and trying your stuff out. It wasn't like that. It was like, I'm going to give you a hundred percent the care because you are my client yeah. right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, boo. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I heard <laughs> this story before. Back. Cause I think I'd be pouring <laughs> tears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's so funny. Cause I talk to people about you all the time. I'm like, you feel horrible. You feel like you're at your breaking point. Go see her because um, she can set you straight, you know, like, <laughs> no, I, um, so, I definitely appreciate you you sharing your entire um, yeah. your your whole entire the process um, your your mm -hmm. story um, it's real yeah. um, you I'm really grateful that you did commit you were accountable mm -hmm. you understood that you were gonna have ups and downs on the program right that's what I shared with yeah. you the it is what yeah. it's just it, you know you're so used to a typical routine. Um, yeah. of maybe eating certain ways or like you said, not taking your supplements and then all of a sudden yeah. this young lady named Temna, I'm going to put young lady I like that, putting young yeah, lady young in there lady. always young lady, I don't yeah. care if I'm 100 years old still young <laughs> you yeah, know, telling yeah. you, you have to do these things that a lot of times you know you need to do, but at the same time um, you know, you just now it's like you you, you have to yeah. do it right? So and I'm just I'm really grateful that you stuck to it because it does change your life for life and you're mm -hmm. too young to be having symptoms. Yeah. And I'm so grateful yeah. that you were willing to share such a personal story um, yeah. and allow me to share with others because you are not alone. Mm -hmm. There's so many uh, women that um, have, you know, those have had those symptoms or have those symptoms, excuse right. me. And right. they are suffering in just the same way. They come here to my office right. and, it, you know, I've heard, you know, I've heard similar stories and it's just, you can't, yeah. to know that you can get relief and, you know, my whole mission on this planet is to expose and empower yeah. people and reprogram your mind that holistic healing is possible and you can get yeah. relief uh, without using medication and, and surgery. It may be at some mm -hmm. point necessary, but the holistic route right. is real. It's, um, it's healing. And um, I'm really glad that you, you know, committed to it. And then you have your little guy yeah, to yeah. show it. So all good things. Well, hopefully you post a picture where you can like see him all being lovey-dovey. <laughs> He's nice, but... You hit it on the nail, you hit the head on the nail with one that it's realistic. It's all of this is realistic. It's so easy to do. It may be a little sugar at first, but it, nothing that you tell told me, at least throughout the process, wasn't something I couldn't do. I could do it. It just was the guidance that I needed and that person on my back saying, okay, girl, you got this. You got this. You know, and that, <laughs> sometimes that's what you just need. You just need to refocus. So yeah. whoever you know, decides, I hope my story influences you to help um, you get the help that you need. And, and you know that you have a support because there's others here. I'm sure, hey, if you need me to send you a message, you got this girl, you got this dude, take them pills, drink the water. I will be your cheerleader. I will help you up because, yeah, it's going to be a little struggle. And you now more than ever in that beginning stages, especially, you need all the support because, it's just it's just helpful you're not alone in it so 
you know, it, go ahead, Tim, like, put my information out there. Oh, like, yay. Hey, my number, I'll send you, you got this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, yeah, I'm no, so I'm grateful. Thinking. Yeah, no, all good things. Thank you so much for yeah. sharing. And you You're have welcome. a good day. Mwah. Stay well, my friend. Bye. <laughs>